video number two. So in the meantime, what I've done is gone ahead and beveled all of the um, other uh, edges. Uh, the only ones I left out was these two sharp angles, and I thought I'd quickly show you um, a nice way of doing them, if you have it available is an angled beveler in this case this one is 941 um, it's got instead of a, a straight tip it's got a, a cute uh, sharp angle there and so the way that you would use that to do this is to put it right into the corner right there Make sure the sides line up, both of them. And there you've got a nice, good, uh, sharp tip there. Um, and now all you'd have to do with the bevelers is come in and make the rest of the line nice and smooth. Okay, but you don't always have the luxury of uh, a beveler like that so one other way of doing it is to use your normal b200 beveler that i've done all the other beveling with and if you go straight down on the beveler it has a wide footprint if you lean the beveler forward do this from the side let me do this from the side and you can see if I lean it forward much narrower footprint okay so that's what I what you do when you approach that sharp angle there so I do the rest of the line normally and as I get closer I lean this beveler forward so that it doesn't just obliterate the other line this one too, bring that line closer and lean it forward. Okay, um, let me pause here if I can. I don't know how to. <laughs> okay, need to learn the camera better. But I'm going to change the light on this. And see if that works better okay there we go so the idea when you approach sharp angles like that lean the beveler forward that way you avoid obliterating the back of it so the rest of this now that's all beveled and that's all very well but it still doesn't look um, like it could so the first thing I'd like to do is come in with a modeling spoon and simply smooth down edges that I don't want sharp. Let's say I want an edge sharp, like this here, um, I'm assuming is actually the top edge of that petal that encloses the rose there. So here I want it very smooth. That is kind of the, the edge of the petal itself. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna neaten that up, but I'm gonna give it, keep it a sharpish edge. This one, however, is totally rounded. It curls around from the outside, from the inside. So I want to make this nice and round. There we go. And I can even, uh, let's say the same here. This one, um, is an edge so I can keep that like that this is again a petal that curls around so this is its edge I'm going to keep that sharp but this curls around so this has got to be rounded as it comes out there and I'm going to smooth it out so the other here's it another one another modeling spoon with a big and a small side so the small side works nice and you can decide like this is the bottom of the the bottom of the rows so that's obviously very rounded so 
So I'm going to make sure that I model that nice and round. So there's a lot of work to be done after you've beveled. Now there's one other thing um, and that's to put a bit of shape in these petals. So I'm going to switch to the bigger spoon now and give this a bit of a three-dimensional idea work it somewhat so that it's not just a flat leather surface um, a lot of it counts with this and I'll, I'll mention it again when I do this with a pear shader is that um, you don't want to go too close to the actual edge with this sort of modeling um, because that'll just flatten it. Uh, so you want to have that still stand up and this looks looks modeled. And Okay, so then there's another important one and that's this beveled edge here. Now, it's okay. This is on top. This goes in underneath it. But there's not a ridge there necessarily in a real rose. Um, it is, this whole part is a round, a round bulb, if I can put it that way. So that beveling halo there, the edge of the bevel um, right there, is um, not what I want. So I'm going to smooth that slightly out, but I don't want to have that uh, hollow almost. All I want to get rid of is that is the idea that there's a beveled edge. So it must almost look like like this is full round and it just disappears under that edge. That's all that I want to achieve there. This is again round. And so you play around with um, with the uh, with the edges like that. Um, this all can be achieved also with with um the pear shaders um, and pear shading pick one that fits nicely that you don't have to do too much work now pear shading is not just that and done that does not work pear shader is also supposed to walk so it just makes modeling what you're doing a bit easier and you can swing it back and forth and use only an edge of it and fool around with it any way you like to get the right to achieve the right um, idea there so if I if you have a smaller one narrower one let's say for a leaf like this walk it around and that gives it a bit more of a, a three-dimensional feel but the nicest the best results is if you can kind of um, uh, compare or, or match the work that has to be done the surface to be done with the size of the pear shape And nothing prevents you from just doing this by hand too. Um, especially if you want to get the edges nice and smooth. And there you go. Um, so there it is. I've been told to keep the videos short and sweet. Um, so I'll do a bit more um, rounding off and, and smoothing down and um, then I think when we're done, we can, um, I'll do it another short one just with the backgrounding. So there we go. Have fun. Enjoy your leather work. That's supposed to be fun all the time. And just play with it. I hope this helps.